hello guys welcome back to another uh, series another video uh, instead of our introductions to statistical analysis in python series so in this tutorial, we're going to look at a practical example of what we went over we covered univariate analysis in the last uh, section so in this section we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, frequency tables or frequency distribution tables so the, uh, we have as i said uh, we're going to first have a question and we're going to learn what uh, what is needed to solve that question and finally we're going to implement whatever we are going to learn to solve that question and then finally give you an assignment to work on to improve your knowledge so the question that we're going to have in this first practical is create a frequency table from the credit data set which is the data set that we loaded in the last tutorial uh and, and, and uh, uh, so create the credit uh sorry let me just start again create a frequency table from the credit data set on the values in the savings account variable variables are also called features or different columns okay so we're going to be using this column which is called uh, savings uh, accounts from there we're going to go ahead and create a frequency table so that's what is needed uh needed of us to do so what's the frequency table and how do we create it in python so uh if, um there the the there is a form of uh, it's a it's a form of univariate analysis uh, frequency table it's a type of univariate analysis in which we group data in a given column into different categories and return a count uh, a count of how many times each of the categories pop up in the within that specific column so uh, that's basically it what uh, frequency uh, frequency uh, distribution table is or a frequency table is so this just shows the frequency of uh, of each category how many how many times it occurs within that specific column so uh, they, they can quickly reveal outliers instead of our data so if anything is just off we can reveal an outlier frequent distribution is said to be uh, skewed when the mean and the median are significantly different so if medi mean and median are the same then uh, the norm the, the, case the, the data is normally distributed uh, if they are not then you can say the, number, the, the, the data is uh, skewed whether a positive skew or a negative skew now i'm not going to go ahead uh, we, we haven't talked about what is skewness in data we'll look at that later on in the uh, tutorial so uh, in the series so if you haven't understand just uh, kindly bear with me once you go in front later you can come back to this tut uh, tutorial and watch again uh, and then understand what uh, uh, skewness means and all of that so let's go ahead and implement the solution to this okay so let's go ahead and do that so I've simply opened up my uh, my Jupyter notebook, and this is where we left off from last time, where we learned how to read a simple data a CSV file in pandas. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and we have a, a column which is called the uh, savings. Let me just copy this right here. It's called uh, savings uh, savings accounts. So we're going to uh, perform a univariate analysis on this column by using a frequency uh, table. So let me just go here, and I'm going to create. Let me just create a, a text cell here, and I'm simply going to go ahead and simply call this. Uh, let me call it a frequency. Uh, table uh, frequency table just like that so frequency table just like that and press enter uh, shift and enter to run that so once you're in here i'm going to simply go ahead and simply create a frequency table so uh, we're going to go, go ahead and say df which is our data frame that what we, uh, we have right here so data frame so i'm saying that df and i'm going to go ahead and i want to get a specific column and the column that i'm interested in is a savings account column so to get the column you just use square bracket and inside the square bracket you pass in quotes and you pass in the name of that column that you want to access so i'm going to say dot uh, value underscore counts uh, value counts just like that so this is going to return to us the frequency count of each of the categories that are in here so in this area of this the the savings account column we have the how many unique values we have four different unique values the rate that the little the moderate they're quite rich and the rich attribute or savings accounts okay so you can see the frequency of those uh, things like how many times it occurs instead of that column so the little uh, accounts occurs 603 times the moderate accounts occurs 103 times the quite rich accounts occurs 63 times and finally the rich accounts occur uh, 48 different uh, times so that's how you can create a simple frequency table uh, in uh, using uh, pandas uh, in pandas so that's basically it how you can create a simple uh, frequency table so yeah let's go back to the slides and let's look at uh, which assignment you have because you have covered the first technology which is a uh, the first uh, concept which is a greater uh, doing a frequency uh, table on a given data set or a given column instead of a data set okay so let's take a look at how uh, what assignment you have and how to, uh, you can go about it yeah so now we are back here let's look at the assignment that we have so the assignment that we have is just simply create a frequency table from the credit data set using the housing variable so if you go inside of the housing data set you'll see is you see a column called housing so i want to go ahead and create for me a frequency table of all those housing data so uh, i'm going to leave a link in the description where to the notebook you're using uh, to the 
the collab notebook so that you guys can see uh, the solution to this okay so this is actually very easy so you if you go there you don't find a solution to this specific question i want you really to really try and solve it yourself because it's quite very very easy but for other 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 parts of the tutorial i'm going to provide a solution to this but this one i want you to go ahead and try, try to solve if you have any issues let me know in the comment section below but the link to the jupyter uh, to the collab notebook is going to be in the link uh, in the description below so you can get access to it so that's basically it so in the next one we are going to look at uh, a practical tool we are going to learn another terminologies and uh, uh, what it means and how we can uh, see a question and how we can apply what you're going to learn to solve that specific question uh, we're going to be uh, let me just see okay, let me just look at the question that we have so we're going to be looking at uh, mainly creating a bar chart in the next tutorial so uh, thanks for watching if you guys are new to this channel please kindly consider subscribing liking this video and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe